Could you tell us something about the work you present here at Angerset? Mm -hmm. I'm going to present a, a work, the piece called the Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. It's a solo work. And actually, I'm going to show uh, its first half because it's it's the full the full piece is 50 minutes. I'm going yes. to show 25 minutes. Uh, but it's built like as two different parts. I'm using um, the menstrual cycle, the, fem the female menstrual cycle, as a choreographic score, mm -hmm. um, as an outline. Trying to use it as a platform, not only to talk about it, but actually to look for a mechanism, like t to absorb the mechanism and what can I learn from it, uh, what can I learn from the female body, mm -hmm. uh, to look at it as a, as a body of knowledge. Do you think art should explore social themes? Art should, should it's, it's a reflection, you know, it's a reflection of, of what interests me as an artist. And I'm, I'm, I'm not living in a bubble, uh, and specifically I'm living in a really intense place, so it's always penetrate also to the studio. And, and I am dealing with it sometimes really directly and sometimes from the back door. The Being a body is, is a political thing. In world. Like, I'm a woman and I'm standing on stage, it's already political, it's already saying something. Mm -hmm. I can uh, be reflective about it or I can ignore it, but it's there, it's, it's there. Usually I'm, I'm choosing to also to deal with that fact, that I'm a specific body. I have a specific color and gender uh, and I want to question it in this, yeah, in this space because this is what this space is about. It's about reflecting and questioning the obvious, like what we are not giving enough attention in our daily life. So. One question I was really curious about, uh, from what I've seen from Bloody Mary and uh, reading a bit about you, that you use uh, this use of the voice mm -hmm. in your performances. Can yeah. you more about this? I think as a dancer, um, traditionally, you really learn how to shut up. Like really, even to, to close your mouth, I mean, our voice is also made, by, it's also actually muscles and it's part of the body. Like I started to talk on stage not so long ago, it was at the beginning more text uh, and then I started to work with my voice and it was a really a big, I, I discovered it and I really fall in love with it and like presence wise there is something in the voice that's, that for me is like this uh, direct way to being present and being um, really deep in it i feel now that i really miss it in many in many actually dense pieces that i, I see that i feel this this self uh, that again we need to question it this is our job to question what is the obvious so uh, in fact, your piece doesn't have music. Yeah, and so also most of my works in the last years, it's, it's, for me it's a bit weird sometimes to have this soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's there to feel something that yeah. does not exist or to create this atmosphere, but I don't know, maybe it's too easy or it feels um, that it's like from another world. I, if I want to, to say something, I will say it, and if I want quiet, so I, I, I really want to have the opportunity actually to have the attention of everything to, to the visual thing. Yeah. To sing is the most amazing thing. <laughs> Even if you're not singing beautifully, just really, it's so, it's so nice. What are your plans for the future? Are you working on any new projects at the moment? Yes, actually I'm, I will come this year to Italy again in, in, in the spring to a residency in Milan. Straight when I'm coming back I'm starting a new project with a, a good friend of mine that is also a choreographer and the two of us, two of us are, the, are choreographing and performing. Okay. Yeah, and it's our second project together. There is a lot of dance in Israel, like it's a lot of, a lot of choreographers, not enough audience. From my point of view, that is really specific because I think what is nice now in the scene that it's more, it, there are more, it's more variant. Twenty years ago, or when I started to dance, I had like few options or few uh, dogmas of what a dancer, what a contemporary dancer is. I feel that now, as a teacher, I can show to young dancers that they have many options. Actually, they can they can be many kind of dancers and creator. Yes. Thank yeah. you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for your time.